Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our no short run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty, Legendary Iron Man, with permanent dark events and the nice little side effect that we cannot shoot or use any explosives. It's time for Operation Half Eaten Shriek, whatever that is, and we're going to fight against the loss and quite a few advents. Western so it's actually going to be a quite difficult mission, but I am confident that Command. we are we well enough equipped to do it. Let's get a proper team going. We have efficient. certainly enough rangers. Let's see, whom else would we take? Lightly wounded specialist. Why exactly can't we take Zoo Cougar? Lightly wounded should be able to be taken into the, the mission. Hmm. Well, every, everyone else is either wounded or out of commission. So that means we're going to take two completely unrelated soldiers. One Reaper in order to scout out uh, the enemies and Toxic here in order to Carry some equipment, I suppose. Um, that's the best we can do. Let's start with Mimic Beacon and uh, with Mind Shields and Vests. And the rest here takes... Well, we're not going to give them Mimic Beacons. Because guess what? They can actually go in and be more effective. Toxic here, on the other hand, can be our... Um, wandering Mimic Beacon. Double Mimic Beacon. That's kind of his thing. And Halo takes a Mind Shield plus a Mimic Beacon. Whilst we're on it, Zirkim takes a Stasis Vest. And... Hmm... Good question. I think the Skulljack isn't the worst idea, to be honest. That would allow us to at least insta-kill one of the enemies. Our entire damage is like com completely um, deprived of those four rangers, and that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, it seems that we really cannot take Jammer with us, or Sukuger, although he is only lightly wounded. Ah, too bad. But we still gotta try it. That's really one of the downsides of this run. We're taking quite substantial damage from time to time. And it's really hard to recover from that. Luckily, um, the mission type that we have selected allows us to um, evacuate if things would turn sour. All right, and we landed. It is a nice, cozy suburban town somewhere in northern europe and damn it nine rounds until the data will be transferred Moving we do not ordered. have a specialist hence isabella here might be the one that can help us with the data transfer and should i be damned i absolutely love remote control. start but unfortunately in this mission it might not work out as well as we think um, it would because we don't have bullets in order to start remotely it's a fantastic ability but it is very much forbidden Double for this run here toxic's kind of our backup uh, let's put him here and roby moves all the way up there Good, now that we see both um, Advent and the Lost, they will actually start triggering one another, which is fantastic. There's another Lost group right there. And the reason why this is good for us is they will start hurting one another. Lost might move up and hopefully but the purifier just a little bit. Well, 
at least a bit. Good, we gotta destroy the data transfer. So there isn't as much time left over in order to deal with it. But before we do any hasty moves, how about we're spying out what exactly we're dealing with. All right, we pretty much now know what is going on. The relatively safe, relatively speaking, safe space. Um, as long as we don't trigger that extra pack, we should be fine. Unless he has full cover, so this is not a direct line of sight. We can attack another guy from up here without triggering. But the way that I would do it... is like that. Starting to move in. We're being spotted out. I'm here now. Very nice. It's a good start. Got ourselves some more losses. That was to be expected. And now everybody is triggered. That, on the other hand, was not expected. I was not expecting the entire enemy crew to uh, react to the loss. Ouch. Well, at least it's a target-rich environment, right? Right. Let's try to see the positive side of things, shall we? This here should not explode him, as Skull Mine is not exactly doing that. Should go around the explosion. Now we're going to get a little bit of neural feedback, and that's okay. That's why he has the stasis vest. That's why he has the stasis vest. Fantastic. Uh, just out of curiosity, we do not have Bladestorm here. Meaning we gotta get someone with Bladestorm in there. Okay, how would we do that? Hmm... Well, that here would almost be a kill, right? But, unfortunately, untouchable, uh, implaceable only triggers if we really kill someone. And there is a 66% chance for sustain, which absolutely stinks. So what we could do here is move up and really place quick feet in front. That'll allow Blade Master for all of these uh, fields here. Um, Implaceable could even position him a bit further. I probably wouldn't want to do that. Um, these here are still excellent targets and being in cover is better than not being in cover. We're going to use a Mimic Beak in this turn. That's not even a question. As for Roby... We were to move up here. That'll be completely concealed against anyone on this side. This will teleport and the Archon will take the Mimic Beacon. So might as well go in and kill or at least sustain so that next turn we're going to kill fantastic toxics moving over here again into cover and i really want a nice little mimic beacon over
over here. That's in line of sight of the Archon and at best they are moving past Roby and will take some extra hits. That would that wouldn't be too bad. There is the Bladestorm. And that's the first kill. Good job. Well done, Roby. Unfortunately, the Archon took the wrong route. Yeah, that might be a kill. No! Minimum damage. Wonderful. That's not bad. There we go. That's the first main beacon gone, but uh, to basically keep three of them away is a pretty decent job. This here will be a problem. We will need to deal with Shadowbound right away. Yes, we have no counterplay due to the lack of a specialist. Yeah, that's going to be lightning reflexes, unfortunately. And that will be another problem. More shields equals more problems. The shadows favor. Yep. And we got a nice little reveal there. There we go. One of them down. All right, like I said, this here is going to be a really, really interesting position. Roby moves around. I was saving the throwing axe for a rainy day. That rainy day is now. Very nice hit. Good job, Roby. You never stop to amaze me. There we go. Well, it's just plain fantastic. Implaceable. Where should we go? Let's think about it. How about... Uh, we're waiting. How about we're waiting just a little bit longer. Alright, we are going to use another Mimic Beacon anyways, so might as well stay where we are. That's solid cover. Yes, we can be flanked, but it's really not that bad. Let's try to hit the Archon. Dodged, but still burning. It's a decent uh, start. I like it. In terms of securing against the loss, I would place quick feet over here so that any loss that is coming close to us must move through a bladestorm area. Similarly, we're moving over here, so that's double bladestorm also for the Archon. And we're teaming up on this guy. Moving out. All right, let's just get lost for now. No pun intended. Move to here, they will still go into this direction, which is Where's fine. On the move. All right, let's move over here. 
it's a nice mimic beacon so that all of them would be able to see it my main concern is that the pure uh, that the ship bearer doesn't throw a grenade so movement triggers double blade storm which unfortunately does not kill him too many misses against the archon with his massive dodge that of course results into a, in a pretty nasty hit Yeah, that will be a kill. Good, so we're going to have a psionic bomb now. Yep, not very surprising at all. And luckily the overwatch will be triggered by the loss themselves. That is double blade storm. Come on, where's Roby's blade storm? Oh my god, guys, you are letting me down. That would have been hilarious. If he would have killed this guy, that would have been absolutely hilarious. Alright, uh, none of those are my prime targets. I actually would like to get this um, get this codex here, but that seems to be not possible. Um, inset. Let's get a kill. That's a nice little emplaceable in order to move right over here. So that we can continue with harassing. Need another mimic beacon, that's for sure. Ignoring most of the losts for now. Oh boy. Oh boy, the accuracy. It's just not good. Good, we're moving in. I just want to make sure that we're not running into any other pack in here. On says no. Fantastic. couple more lots and that is fine unfortunately toxic at this point is only a sack of hit points not more and not less uh, let's move up and continue to attack that's the third straight miss guy seems to be very, very evasive. Moving over here mainly so that they need to pass uh, by in order to um, in order to reach the mimic beacon. Any loss that is moving by will be attacked uh, via via Bladestorm. We're blocking the ladder here. Offering an alternative target. That's pretty much it. Probably going to be a shot. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we could tank three of them, and now the beacon is destroyed, meaning this guy here would run free. But of course, finally, the guys uh, mm, 
find their balls after rounds and rounds of acting like uh, little grandmas. And they finish him. Double Bladestorm works out well, cluster them up and let the uh, losts take care of the... Uh, let Bladestorm take care of the loss. We're now in a bit of a pickle here. Let's start with... Killing some more of these guys. Before mysteriously moving over here, so that we can um, deal some blade storm damage. Our number one job now will be to kill the codic uh, codices. Fantastic work! Very good. <coughs> Halo. Charges in. We're looking at five more rounds. We gotta get that transmitter. Fortunately, more losses are coming in, but that's fine. Killing. And we got five more rounds, so. Yeah, I can spend some time just killing uh, the losts. I was concerned whether or not we're going to be able to actually destroy this uh, thing. Answer so far is we probably will. Moving our sack of health over here and let's end the turn. We're doing better than. Oh, I was about to say we're doing better than I expected. Let's make sure to take it out this time. We're not. We're so not doing better than expected. The mission turned from everything's under control into. Yeah. We're fucked. Oh, we're royally skewed, uh, screwed. Oh, we are so screwed. Maybe their loss can help us with that. Really don't want to fight her. Oh boy, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Four more turns. Oh. I'm lost for words. This is very, very, very bad. Um. You know what we could do is we could start destroying this here. First of all, free action, close the door, so that whatever we're doing behind the door is not in line of sight of that abomination. Um. Secondly, can we? For the love of God, can I please select Rovi? Thank you. Can we reach this target? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. That's actually not too bad. Um, let 
not going to touch any of these guys. That's a futile effort. Move over here. Destroy it. And I would really, really, really like to destroy this here. That buys us a lot of time. Unfortunately, it does not tr uh, trigger. Um, it does not trigger our implacable. That is indeed unfortunate. The mech has enough targets, so. Moving over here. Let's conceal. I'll just stand here for now, knowing that we're pretty well concealed. Fortunately, the Reaver is incredibly not well concealed. I would say we're just Watch moving. Uh, that triggers one move of uh, the Verso Queen. We're getting far enough away to not get completely shat upon. Moving to position. And let's hunker down. Yeah, the biggest problem is the Berserk Queen by far. Mutant is certainly an issue as well. Oh boy. Let's hope for the best that the losses are a little bit on our side. Trying to destroy some of them. That's it. They're on to me. Yeah, we got a couple of kills against the loss. The biggest problem is uh, the Bursa Queen. Still moving. It's dead. It has to be dead. That could have been bad. Yeah, I appreciate the help. Every little bit counts, right? Question that I'm asking myself is, is this group here well enough equipped to deal with the enemies? We would, uh, if we're evacuating now, we would, um, we would counter the dark event, but we would have a lost mission, so to speak. And that's okay. I don't even know what the reward was, but it's certainly not worth dying for. So let's get out of here. It's a partial success. Good enough. And sometimes you gotta live with good enough and also be okay with it. We've not had a lot of injuries, that is actually quite positive. I will reposition. We also did not have a lot of 
casualties so far. Also positive. out luckily we cannot be stunned but it's good dashing away copy that I'm gone and we're gone all XCOM operatives are secure firebrand is returning to base Oh boy, yeah, it officially said failed, but like I said, it's a partial success. And sometimes partial success is better than no success. All right, fair enough. We did not lose any equipment, moderately wounded, and we even got a promotion out of it. Not that it really matters, but okay, fair enough. Toxic now has even blast padding. And bending reed isn't too bad, that is bleeding shots uh, from Advent, so it's good that we counter that. That's the reward that we got, partial reward uh, from the mission. In, and we have not lost uh, the area as well, that's good. You can see everybody is currently injured, which leads me to believe that the best course of action for us is really to go and heal as fast as possible part of the reason why we did not uh, staff a really um, competent team was because we were just too focused on um, yeah on catching up we were incredibly greedy with uh, going for the chosen and that really hampered us when another mission struck. 125 supplies. I think I know where we can get some more. Avenger plotting new course. Intel is still fine. Income is absolutely fine. Is yeah, we're not going to go for med kits. One data pad is okay. Some officer corpses, some trooper corpses, that's okay. And one superior laser sight, done. I suppose that's one way to approach a Good. That so leads us to an upgrade here. Commander, we might have to do some cleaning, but we've still And some problems. more research. Fantastic. Again, building, nothing that we can really do. How disappointing. Good, let's heal. And once we're in a better shape, might be able to get that extra scientist. If it's not gone, uh, gone by then. Some of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them Look at rest, that, a major uh, Templar. Uh, that is what we were looking for, just in time in your fight to do the, the Chosen Invasion. We need a major in order to uh, get in there. Uh, might as well take Scorch here. Before we do, though, let's... Double check that beast. Uh, it's actually a she, Major Scorch, Natalia. Let's see what Natalia has to offer. Uh, Fortress is nice. She does not have Bladestorm, which is hmm, unfortunate, but he has all of the tanking qualities that you would expect from a Templar. Arcwave, Deep Focus. Fortress. She also has sustain, which isn't bad either. Let's go 
Go with overcharge and 10 points for amplify and that gives her a really really nice skill tree i think having another templar is a fantastic addition to our team uh, for our team probably not for the final mission but having that extra templar just makes it easier for things like the covert action mission that we're uh, looking to get into six uh, dodge is a nice add-on Let's put Renvin on the mission and a Reaper. Yep. For no ambush. That's good. 16 days. Um, next uh, um, next iteration, I think he would be ready to shoot us down. Uh, so finding his stronghold is a very important step for us to not defend our adventure. Loyalty among thieves was to be expected that it would come through. And now I think our healing has gone quite well. Let's just take a small step here. Not quite almost back in action. That's good. So that's pretty good. Uh, still some lightly wounded uh, people. So let's continue. That was a good project. Uh, med kits now heal more. That also means they are more effective when we are going against the Chosen. What else could we need? You know, rep suits are actually quite interesting. But I think for now, experimental armor is the only thing that we can really afford. Let's take another look at our soldiers. Fine, fine, fine. Pretty light, wounded, a bit shaken. Yeah, let's give it one more day. Although, if we continue to not uh, go for the scientist there, it will eventually despawn. If you continue to, uh, to scout for it, it stays a little bit longer. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts. And that's fantastic. The katana is just what we needed. Priest autopsy for this free. Get the sustenance sphere. Not that we need it, but it's a nice gimmick. Let's get some more intel. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. And I think I we had a couple of upgrades, right? So. Moving ground. Sacrifice the only thing he had left to get this ship off the ground, and I won't let it be for nothing. No, it uh, was actually right just really literally elbows. building them. She'll be the toughest thing in the sky. Hey, Commander. Or upgrading them? No, no. Uh, I think we already got them. I know that we needed to upgrade the serpent armor, but I'm always getting confused. I think that we already have the weapon. Let's see, Arashi, not that we're using it, but, you know, um, I just like carrying it. And here's the katana, which is a fantastic option to, um, to, and finally no more excuse to miss. So the katana and the axe are probably tied for the best weapon. The katana certainly for it's not missing and are more penetrating probabilities uh, the um, the um, X for its ability to be thrown which is a really really helpful ability um, in a tight spot if you as you have noticed more plate vests very good that's exactly what we were looking for Hey, look at that. We got a pretty solid income. We killed her. That is good. He's not yet um, uh, invading us. That's great news. Overwatch shots will always mit miss advent troopers. That is bad. We got to counter that. Uh, the new alien facility doesn't matter. 
So lightning reflexes is the next thing that we need to counter. What else? Um, contact immediately. Yep, yep. You know, I think we're fine. We're not constructing anything, so might as well take the 20% supply premium and call it a day. Got a hundred intel right there. That's fantastic. Hello, Commander. That is great. The interchangeable weapon upgrades, but you know what? We're not using weapons, so it's not that great, really. Hellfire vest. If we were to go with a chrysalid autopsy. Could go for another data pad. Hmm. Or for another facility lead. Probably rather for a data pad, to be honest. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. Yeah, what we want to do is we're getting intel research. and then we're essentially making contact after we've built another resistance tower. Look at that, soul steel. That's exactly what we were looking for. Moving into domination. I still want null lands on the second psyops. And there is our seventh um, researcher, scientist. We're now going to South America, like I mentioned it beforehand. Gotta get those 200 supplies. I know exactly Avenger where we're getting them from course. because we have a healthy economy. Now the things are going to snowball in our direction for, for once. It's time to conquer the world. The game will help us to uh, do exactly that. I think you will find our results. 150 into the holy moly. That is fantastic. We don't need the facility lead, not yet. So let's get the last autopsies going and then Presumably. we should uh, we should be fine. Working at the advent clinic, I saw Might as well also go into the shadow clinic and already start there. Fantastic. That is good news. The reason why this is actually good news is we're going to get supplies plus um, uh, plus Elarium plus Alloys. That's exactly what we need. A lot of losses in here. Difficult, a very difficult mission. So there is an unknown enemy that tells me the Berserk Queen is yet again there. Uh, fair enough, uh, but we are prepared to take her down this time. And other than that, I think we're pretty okay. That's, that marks the end of our run, guys. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, uh, feel free to give uh, the um, episode a like and a comment down below. That always helps the channel to grow. And as always, see you in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.